Hey guys, hi and welcome to this third episode of what you're calling weekly showcase on UX Hack and I have with me right now Akash Azad, a young designer I would call him. He's an engineer as a well, son, right? You're an engineer, right? Akash? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a computer science engineer. He's a computer science engineer and a pretty good designer also. I'll just show you at the end why I'm saying that because he's been one of the most active members of our community and also winning. So besides that, something more about you, Akash, where are you from, where are you based, what do you do? Yeah, so basically I'm from uh, Rohtak. It's uh, near Gurgaon and Delhi. Yeah. So I'm in third year of my college and now in fourth year. So I've been promoted to next exam. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, so, Auto -pro automatic so, promotion? Yeah. Exam hua. Automatic promotion or final? No, automatic promotion. Good, na? Yeah, I've been Good. lucky. Because I have to study one time before. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, uh, my journey is uh, in design is quite unique and quite uh, unpredictable. I didn't know what is design, what is, what is all that. So, okay. in first year, I just came to know about the term design. And I saw a senior doing that and it got my interest. So basically it was graphic design. Yeah. So, and yeah, he used to go to the meetups and all, and I followed him to one of the meetups. And then I came to know about the term, uh, UI UX. Then I started digging deep, 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 yeah, starting going to more meetups and all, you know, basically self-learning. Which I think is the best way. Basically curiosity. Which yeah. I think is the best way. I mean, I, I know that's a struggle, but you know, when you, when you do it that way, yeah. uh, as opposed to like a form, of course, a formal one has its own benefit, but to engineering formal, ki kar rahe, I don't know ke kitne benefits mil rahe. <laughs> in that specific engineering field, what kind of an engineer are you trying to become now? Like your final year of engineering, what, what kind of an engineer, what, what field is this? Uh, so, uh, my degree is in computer science engineering, basically coding oh, yeah, and mentioned. stuff, I but yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do that. Uh, matlab basic aata hai, but I don't know advanced level of it. So normally I would, normally I would <laughs> be like the guy, you know, yaar, tu kya kar rahe types, but seeing your, you know, contributions yeah. and seeing your efforts on the, I don't think yeah. that is the right place to, I think you're, you're fit to be a designer, at least on the UX front, <laughs> I can be pretty confident of that. And I'll give you a glimpse. When I'm showing uh, Akash's work, uh, from here I would love to you know jump into the challenge. The specific challenge we are talking about today is an yeah. academy, which actually is one of the most recent ones, like two weeks back. So uh, in fact, Akash has been a participant, and I'll show you the screen later. Has been a participant across, I think, one of the highest number of challenges as well as a high success rate. So he's been a runner-up multiple times, winner at least twice, <laughs> and he's also been part of our learning hackathons, which were happening last year. So. There was a plethora of challenges to yeah. pick, so I was like, Akash, tu bata, kaun sa So he chose an academy because <laughs> I guess it is more closer to him. I don't know which one it is, but the challenge specifically was on you know trying to find out what an academy in general, the in general the ed tech space. You know, in fact, even now with friends, I'm talking about uh, this whole white white hat junior acquisition, three hundred million dollars by Baidu. This whole space has become so hyped up, but. Whether the user is getting what he wants when he's going there, when you compare it to, say, a global peer, when you go to, say, an, a Udemy or a Coursera, the experience in terms of, you know, trying to actually buy the course, is that sufficient enough? That was the challenge. That was the actual challenge. I'll share the link in the, in the video below. And then Akash had his contribution. So this is, before, before I get into your contribution, Akash, I think, uh, let me share my yeah. screen. Uh, I would like to know what tool you, I know, I know it, but I would like you to tell the users how you go about creating this. This is, is this a dashboard? What, what you have a template in Figma? How do you do this? Because I see one like artboard. How do you, how do you come across? How do you create this? So, uh, I just use Figma. There are many tools, you know, I've seen participants using Notion, Google Docs, but being a designer also. So I feel like Figma is my go-to tool. It gives more yeah. power over different things. So I just create an artboard and, you know, pick just a uh, screenshot here and there, clip them and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty neat. It's pretty, in fact, I'll be very honest. We were creating our deck for our own startup. I'm, I was very, very, you know, tardy about it. And uh, when I saw some of your submissions and I saw that you can actually make a presentation in Figma for me, Figma is just, you know, design tool for the website that we have. But I said, you know, why not create a deck in that? Of course, it has compatibility issues. Like if you want to edit something, you want to change something and you share it with somebody who doesn't use Figma, that's the thing. 
but you know to present it was so yeah. fantastic it was so powerful you know in fact with the glow effect so many things were there even as a presentation tool it was fantastic so yeah. i always like the way you present very simple and yeah. in this challenge it was even better i just want you to talk me through these two i'm yeah. i'm talking about the second and third one and i really related to this so how did okay. you how did you think about what was your process to come to this basically what akash is saying is that you know those previews are uh, you know yeah word of it yeah so uh, basically the idea was ki uh, when i when i was researching about this product when i opened an academy and i was going to the various uh, you know uh, courses and all i just yeah. uh, happened to see that there was a preview and i saw a preview that was 12 minutes long and i was like yeah. what the my mean 12 <laughs> minutes a preview and when i played it I, i i couldn't hold up to the 12 minutes and i jumped on to other course and it was just like one minute and then i tried another one two minutes and basically it was more of us like a sales pitch ki yeah. we will yeah. do like this do like this yeah. sub cover hoga and all but they were not actually showing how is it going to be matlab how is is it going to be in class like experience mm. you know like the real thing yeah and, and not they were I... providing you know some yeah yeah so i think i think that that really resonated with me also so when i also when i felt the same thing you know when you're looking at the course you just don't get a sense of what the course is going to yeah. be you don't feel confident the length of the video actually doesn't help in fact it, it takes away somewhere from the you know whole part of you know what they're trying to do with from there i want to yeah. come to this and i think we didn't stress too much on this uh, but a lot of people didn't i think only you and one more person did which was the checkout experience you know at the checkout page what exactly you should and yeah. shouldn't show A lot of people didn't. You and I think Pratik, it was who did. Uh, so, what was the what was the thought behind this? Like, you know, basically, okay. what? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So basically, the thought behind it was that uh, you are showing all the plans uh, right away, but the features you are presenting, you know, pitching the user that this feature is important. This is what makes us different, and you are presenting yeah. it in a form of moving cards. I mean, right. your your this reading one, speed right? may differ this from one. mine. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah correct correct this, so so this was the idea and plus the uh, illustration did match up to what they were pitching and uh, they were uh, moving quite fast so that was my idea and i proposed the solution that you just pitch the your uh, mm-hmm. you know usps or features right front away yeah yeah just like so, a card and and i think this is a yeah. classic i don't i correct. guess the entire website is a classic example of great design as in the ui part but the experience of it is actually pretty poor not the, not the usability yeah. experience but you know what matters to the user like for example this looks very nice but really it has no benefit yeah. you know whereas here it may not look yeah. very nice but here you can directly tell the user what yeah. are the top three thing and they'll get all three yeah. continuously so they're going to look at this screen for some time i mean knowing how people buy they're going to look yeah. at the screen try to compare yeah. each of them and if you keep <laughs> keep moving things they're going yeah. to get a little confused Yeah. Uh, besides this so this is this is about this solution and uh, i don't know if you yeah. are aware so this is your public profile on ux yeah. hack and uh, if you guys <laughs> okay. can see so he's got contributions through and through like this is the weekly where we started but this, there was this donation challenge he was the winner there i don't know if you've seen this page yourself because it's not a very well presented page sorry about that but i think if you see this uh, you will know that you know why Akash is not known as an engineer. I hope you are not known as an engineer, but you are known more as a, a dev designer, at least a UX designer. I know that yeah. in India that UI part right. happens, but but how has your experience been? Like you know, right. I think it's been like one year since we've known, one one and a half year almost since we've known. How has your experience in general? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. So uh, for for the first part about the Anna Academy, I I guess it's uh, the inspiration is from like Dribble or Behance design. They look yeah. very good and you know they are very neat. But when you see them in practical, jab UX dalte hai, they just you know blunder up and they want to yeah. present a great design but forget about the UX. That's the main problem I see. And you had experience so, with that also, right? In real the, life. You you had the experience yeah. with that in real life. You're telling me maybe some other time we'll have that conversation when there are more <laughs> candid talks. But yeah, so yeah. coming to the second part, yeah, your experience <laughs> overall with UX. Yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. so uh, to this uh, coming to the second part, uh, it I joined you guys in 2019. I I would uh, like to tell how how you I came to know about you guys. So yeah. it was 2019. Uh, A designer in my WhatsApp just put up a story that if you use Zomato, 
just ping me i ping oh, her and maha se did a small okay. small re- yeah. research and i asked her ke what is it about he told that ux hai kaise aise hota hai and i got very interested yaar ux practice karne ko mil raha hai <laughs> so Chalo, uh, or and so that was I a very that that, that, website, that yeah. challenge really interesting so one good thing about zomato forget about what happened the redesign and all those things okay. but one good thing is yeah. lots of people love zomato like especially designer community and ux community yeah. love love zomato yeah. so that attracted a lot of designers so i think we are going to do more such challenges with zomato theek hai we'll do zomato 1 2 3 4 5 aise hi karenge to zomato ko bolenge sab designer aa jayenge i guess i guess that's a good mujhe ye nahi pata tha that zomato was very it was very important but you stuck around so you come for one but you stick around that means there are some other things also that great great i yeah. think i think there's yeah, yeah, sorry yeah 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 good good sorry yeah so uh, when i just came around and 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 i i saw it was uh, i mean purely about ux hello yeah 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 i can hear you good yeah the, it, yeah yeah it was uh, purely about ux and in india it's very you know rare where you get in practical you know see the ux and practicing it and when i started it it was quite an experience so i just you know choose the highest plan to see the other approaches as well and your insights you know it it develops the thinking you know ki ha ye approach maine kyun nahi socha ye approach maine kyun kyun nahi socha and you know it feeds up the curiosity you know and the resources you share it's all awesome you know in I fact am, i'll be i'll be very honest can yeah yeah i'll be very yeah. honest sorry cutting you there I'll be very honest. I'm the most fortunate person because I get to see all your submissions. I get to understand what is happening. You know, like I get to see a trend. You know, you guys might get to see. अच्छा ठीक है ये कम तू कंपटीशन है. You get to you have to work hard. I at the end of it get to you know crystallize. I feel very fortunate. Very 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 honest. That's why we love doing the challenge. Though they are like very taxing. You know, take up a lot of time, etc. But a lot of fun. Lots to learn. And that's that's I think captures a lot. I think there's a lot to talk about your cars. I think we'd love to do a V2. In fact, there's so many challenges. We'll definitely do a V2. Maybe more focused on you know the design and the UX aspects yeah. of it. But for now, I think that pretty much sums it up. And sure. thank you so much for taking yeah. time out. Uh, he's just come back from a user research. Yeah. He was telling me we actually got delayed on this, but he was doing a research right now. Mm-hmm. So on a Saturday night, goes to show you yeah. how committed he is to this his Correct. job. Yeah. So, all the best uh, you you are a student still all the best yeah. with whatever assignments yeah. you have later on and i'm pretty sure we're going to catch up very very soon okay yeah. thank you so much yeah. thank you bye yeah bye thank you so much akshay thank yeah. you yeah. bye bye yeah.